Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. We've had a pretty dreary day here today, but it's like around 50 degrees, so I'm not going to complain too much, right? <laughs> it's Wisconsin and it's always kind of crummy weather this time of year. Hi Lisa, hi Nancy, welcome. I see Connie popping in. So yeah, today was a super, super busy day and I started it off just right. I made breakfast for Haley and Jared and little Val. Well, little Val didn't eat my breakfast. <laughs> but yeah, um, we had bacon and homemade buttermilk pancakes and my wonderful friend Cindy shipped me some maple syrup because I ran out. And we got that just in time. So we had delicious homemade, homegrown maple syrup. Oh, so wonderful. Here. This is one of the, I got two jugs, two jugs, pure, pure maple syrup from Wisconsin. The Ellers Maple Ridge Sugar Bush. So good. So, Cindy, thank you so much. I have some cards. Oh, I forgot to get those out, you guys. Let me grab them. Some cards to share with you that we received and a couple presents. You guys know I'm ducking under my desk, right? Because this is where I go. I see my Aunt Sandy just popped on here. Yeah, I have um, a maple syrup order from my Uncle Pete, too. He makes syrup, but we haven't been able to get up north, so I had to I had to buy some, and Cindy stepped right up. I like to buy from both, because Cindy and her husband are really good friends of ours, and then it's my Uncle Pete, and I love him dearly. <laughs> and I see my Aunt Sandy just popped on here. How are you doing? Maria's here. Terry just popped in. Mary Lynn is here. Jenny is here. Welcome, everybody. So, what else is happening in our world today? We just got some pretty crummy news from Stampin' Up! that the um, Maui incentive trip has been postponed. And, you know, we kind of knew it was coming, but I still had all of my fingers and toes crossed that we were going to be able to go on a vacation in July, and that's just not reasonable, right? <laughs> but I was still hoping. There's always hope, right? So they've postponed it, and there's a whole email I just read through really quickly to find out about it. Um, they're actually going to push our Maui trip to next year in May. And then um, right now the trip that I've already earned for this Stampin' Up! year is an Eastern Caribbean cruise, and they're going to like replace that with Maui. So anybody who who um, earned Maui gets to go next year, hopefully. And anybody who earned this Eastern, I think it's Eastern Caribbean cruise for this current year gets to go to Maui. So it's kind of a pretty big bonus, right? Because I know a lot of people were trying really hard for Maui. And if they didn't get it, now they could possibly get it because of the moving it all around. So thanks, you guys. Thanks. You know, there's a lot bigger fish to fry in the world besides my vacation to Maui. Um, I'm really sad because my stepdaughter Stephanie was planning on coming with me and it was be the first time that I've taken her on an incentive trip. If you guys remember last year I took Anna to um, Greece with me and this, this year it was Stephanie's turn. So that really stinks for her too, right? Yeah. So I'm still kind of processing all of it. Like, Really? But I, one of my friends, Linda Bunce, who's always on here, she's also my team member, um, she also had a trip planned to Hawaii. She would actually be flying out the day I was coming in. And um, her trip has been canceled too. And she sent me an email saying that in Hawaii, now I don't know, this is what she told me, but in Hawaii they're having to wear ankle bracelets and be monitored and they're not allowed out of their houses. So like they've really got a lockdown going on in Hawaii. I don't know if it's just Maui or all of Hawaii, but jeez, right? So remember, it could always be worse. We're not there. <laughs> We're not wearing ankle bracelets like prisoners in our homes. And um, maybe that's, I don't know, that's what she told me. And I believe her because everything else she's told me has been true. And she's shared some pretty amazing cards with us, like the one sheet wonder I did Sunday night. Yeah, that Linda. <laughs> so I trust her. Um... Oh, I'm just reading Cindy's. Every trip has been canceled. Oh, and a wedding. That would be terrible. Hi, Denise. 
Phillips, welcome. I see Sarah and Patty here too, you guys. And Marsha just said, did Hawaii get canceled? Yes, our trip to Hawaii, our incentive trip got canceled. Well, it got postponed. So that's better than canceled. They're going to move it to next year. And the trip that we were already going to have is going to be replaced with Maui. So, yeah. They don't know for sure. They, they're they going to work out the details on that, whether they're going to give us a cash buyout, because I earned both of them already. Um, the Maui one last year and the Eastern Caribbean one this year. So they don't know exactly what they're going to do, but they do want to reward us for our hard work because, boy, I, you know, anybody who goes on these incentive trips is working hard to earn them because they're not easy to earn. <laughs> so, yeah, that was kind of a bummer, right? Oh, well. Um, yeah, what, what else did I do today? Well, I made breakfast for the new little family. That was really sweet. And Steve got to meet his granddaughter today, so that was precious. Um, he made a little table to go under her bassinet because her bassinet is way down low next to the bed. Haley wanted it raised up so that she doesn't have to get up and get out of bed to get the baby. And so he made a little table so she can set the bassinet on there and it's not going to fall off or fall over or anything and that'll just make it easier. So um, we got to spend a little bit of time with them and if you are on my team you got to meet little Miss Val today on my question and answer Facebook live. So if you didn't get a chance to watch that and you're on my team go watch it. It's on our Facebook team page. But little Val was here and I made Haley and Jared come in and say hi and I got to show you my baby. Yeah, thank you, Sarah. Sarah says you worked your butt off, so you deserve something. Yeah, I'm sure they'll do something. It'll it'll be okay. And again, I was pretty much expecting it. I think we all were. We just didn't want to say it out loud like it wasn't going to happen if we didn't discuss it. <laughs> you know, like that's how it's kind of how I am. I'm like, don't talk about it because if you talk about it, it'll happen. But yeah, it, <laughs> it happened anyways. And then what else? Oh, my husband is so funny. So. We, um, I live in a, I want to say a close neighborhood, but not like friendly close because that really doesn't happen here, but in a neighborhood where our houses are real close together, like if I open this window up, you can see the house right there. It's pretty close. And on the other side of my house is our driveway and then the neighbor's driveway and their house is right there. And, um, so we've lived here for over 20 years. It's kind of a strange non-relationship with our neighbors, not because of us. Um, but they're a little different. Anyway, so Steve, during this coronavirus thing, you know, he's a little stir crazy. So he's been kind of keeping an eye on the neighborhood. <laughs> and some of the funniest things come out of his mouth. But today, every once in a while, he'll say, oh, John just left. We're going to have to monitor him when he gets back. You know, just silly things like that. But today he says to me, he's like, John just backed in the driveway. Something must be up. <laughs> like, oh, my Lord, we was stop <laughs> stop spying on the neighbors but yeah it's pretty funny so I thought I'd share that with you because I really did laugh out loud I'm like oh my gosh you're so weird I also am in the process of doing my laundry my last load is in the dryer and I ran out of underwear today maybe that's too much information but it is what it is and usually when I not usually I usually do my laundry when I ran out of underwear and I have a lot of underwear so getting all my laundry done so I can go a couple more weeks without doing the laundry because I don't know I don't really mind doing laundry but it's just one of those things that ugh, you got to take time and then I hate it when I forget about my clothes in the dryer and then they get all wrinkly right I hate that so try to stay on top of it um and the other sad news I received today I don't remember if I told you guys this yesterday but um Taco Bell yeah they're no longer serving taco salads like Really? I went there yesterday for a taco salad. And, you know, I know Taco Bell isn't probably the best place to get food. And the food isn't really probably that high quality. But you know how you only like to go to where you're used to for Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving dinner or Easter dinner. Because you know that the food is always going to taste the same. And you love it. And it's, it's stuffing and mashed potatoes and gravy and turkey. Or it's a ham and, you know, whatever. Whatever you're used to. Well, when I go to Taco Bell, I want a taco salad. So I was really sad. And their taco salads, like I said, they're probably not good for you. But it does have the word salad in it, which kind of implies vegetable, which makes me feel better about that choice. <laughs> 
And again, you know, working through things in my mind to make them better than they actually are. <laughs> so yeah, I was really sad about that. But I don't know if it's all Taco Bells or just ours. Yeah, I'm used to their taco meat. I like their taco salad. It was really good. Um, when I lived in Madison, I used to go to some place called, I think it was called Zarita's. And it was a fast food um, Mexican food place. And oh my gosh, they put like the finest um, shredded cheese, like tons, like piles of shredded cheese on their taco salads. And oh, it was so delicious. But yeah. What did you say? No tacos? Yeah, Taco Bell here in our Menasha store got rid of taco salads, Terry. Gosh. I know. And that was the only vegetable they had that I liked. <laughs> so instead I got nachos supreme. And they were really good. But I didn't feel as good about it when I was done eating as I would have if I ate a salad. So tonight, what'd you guys have for supper? Mm, yeah. Oh, Haley and Val, Jared is on watching our Facebook Live, you guys. And he just said, Haley and Val are both sound asleep. I'll be on here to hear you talk about your beautiful granddaughter. <laughs> Isn't he sweet? Oh, she's precious. She's so precious. Today she was crying. Let me tell you what I did. Today she was crying and Jared was holding her and I asked if I could hold her. I didn't just go up and grab her away. I asked if I could hold her and as soon as I took her, she quit crying. Didn't she, Jared? Hmm? Yeah, she likes me. <laughs> Anywho, um, I told you I'd tell you another funny um, mom story. I've got a couple of them here, but I'll just tell you one. And I think that I'm going to start with the, because um, this is kind of funny. Well, kind of. So here's another mom fail for you. So when Haley was probably about, I want to say four, maybe five years old, something happened that she was going in or out of the back door and the, and the screen door slammed on her little toe. And oh my Lord, she started crying and I ran to see what was wrong. You know, total mom mode. Oh, I'm, what's wrong? Let me see. La, 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 la. And so we got her calmed down a little bit. And then a little while later, she's still like going on and on about getting her toe slammed in the door. <laughs> I told her, I'm like, oh, for Pete's sakes, it's not even red anymore. Knock it off. Deal with it. Because that's kind of the kind of mom I was. I didn't want a child who just went on and on about whatever, you know, like, Ooh. it's like I, I tolerated none of that. So I was like, just knock it off. Get over it. You're fine. Well, a couple days later, Haley's toenail fell off of her toe. So, then I felt like a real butthead because you know how much that hurt, right? If her toe got slammed in the door hard enough to then make her toenail fall off, I was so mean. And I still laugh about it. So, tomorrow I'll tell you about the fair. <laughs> because I've got another one, too. <laughs> yeah. Do you love the... Uh, the mom fails are, like I said, it's amazing these kids are still alive. I'm not even kidding. <clears throat> so, today, we got a card from Cindy who sent us the maple syrup. And I'll share that with you first. This is just so adorable. Look at how stinking cute that is. This is the Dazzling Diamonds Shimmer Paper. So, so pretty. This is from Cindy. And it says, a great big welcome for a sweet little someone. Congratulations. And this is for Haley and Jared. And isn't that, oh, I'll show you the inside. Look at it. It's got a peek, peek through hole. <gasps> Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. I was just like, oh, that's adorable. Then, <clears throat> let's see. We have another card here. Hang on. Oh, this was from Marilyn. Oh, and here's what Marilyn sent. Okay, so this is from Marilyn Dakins. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my Lord. Oh, ah! Julie says they canceled her fair. That makes me sad. I love going to the fair, right? I love eating fair food. <laughs> Lots of it. And here we go inside. Oh, inside. It says Valerie Lee is finally here. She is beautiful. Now grandma can relax some. Hope you enjoy this gift. Now she will fit right in with grandma. I also hope you use, you like the little black dress I sent earlier. She sent that little black dress onesie and they loved it, Marilyn. Your whole, um, God's blessings on your whole family, Marilyn. I watch, oh, and then she said in here, I watch your mom every day because this was Haley's card. And Haley was here this morning, so she got this. 
And then we have this cutie patootie little box from Marilyn. Holy cow. You guys are going to die when you see this. I wish I had her here. The baby that is. Look at this. It's a little headband with a teeny weeny little crown on it. Is that not the cutest little thing you have ever seen? Oh my gosh. And it's really funny too, Marilyn, because I did order her a little headband crown thing. And the funny part of this is, is her head is so little that it won't fit in here, but it will eventually, and she will be wearing this. <laughs> Haley and Jared were just like, oh my gosh, that is so cute and how hilarious. And we laughed and it was just so funny. So Marilyn, thank you so much. Um, baby Val will be wearing the little black dress and it'll probably fit her because she needs preemie clothes right now. Nothing fits at all, but it'll probably fit her in about three or four months maybe. And she will definitely get a lot of good use out of it. I'll make sure she wears that with her crown and comes and visits me for a Facebook live. I think that's a great idea. And I also got a beautiful card from Cindy. This is so pretty, and she sent me the directions, so I think we'll be making this one. Look at how pretty that is. Ornate garden, love, love, love the dyes. Beautiful card. This is a little seed packet, and look at it. holds a little pack of seeds, and she's put them in there with mini glue dots. Is that not the cutest little thing ever? Look how cool that is. Cindy says, hoping your day blooms with happiness. You are simply the best. Congratulations on your newest grand. Aren't they the best? Jim and Cindy, thanks for buying our syrup. <laughs> but I love this. And I love that she sent me the instructions. So that's going to go right in my to-do soon little pile of stuff here. What else do I have to show you? Oh, okay, so this last gift that came today don't let me forget to show you, okay? I'm going to show it to you, but not until we make our card tonight. And you are going to just die. This is so absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to set that aside. Well, I don't want to forget to do it, you guys. So, gosh, let me think. Hang on, I'm going to set these cards back behind me. Make sure that Haley and Jared get this little princess headband. Hang on, my card fell over. There we go. I moved some things around me, around behind me tonight so that that plant right over there isn't coming out of my head. Ooh, my crown's trying to fall off. <laughs> Don't let me forget to show you this box, okay? Um, I want one of you. I'm going to pick Terry Sampson. I want you to send me a private message before I get done so I can show you what's in this box. And when you do that, it pops up on my screen and it gets in my way and then I have to close it. And so I will see it. I'm going to go right now and bring you guys up live. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jean, for the share. Please make sure that you're sharing my videos if you can. That I really appreciate it. That helps me out the most. And all you have to do is click on that share button. Here, let me unpin this. Unpin from the top of the page. Today, I spent a lot of time adding links and stuff. You guys saw that I posted my newest online class is using the Country Club Suite. My newest kit class, I think I told you guys it was coming out earlier than it was. I spoke to Ashley today. I do this class with her. And our class will actually be announced on the 8th. I think I'll put the ordering um, links up so you can order it a little earlier than that. But I'll have a blog hop with Ashley showing you something from by the dock. That's what we're going to be using for the kit class. Country club for online class, kit class, by the dock. I'll have that up probably sometime over the weekend. Okay, here I come live. Oops, we don't want to hear two of me. I got to mute. There we go. I'm going to bring you in here bigger so that I can see your comments because I'm ready to turn you around and make this card. I have got, oh my Lord, I have, I have a lot on my plate. So tomorrow, don't forget that I'm the guest tutorialist on Split Coast Stampers. I have some things to finish up on their website tonight to make that all happen. And um, then on fr Thursday is a Paper Pumpkin Alternate Idea Blog Hop, so I'll be in on that. Terry just asked me a question, and I will. Just hang on. Thank you for making it all in capital letters because that really drew my attention. <laughs> um, and then Friday, the Stamping Society has a blog hop, and we are featuring stamps that we haven't touched yet. 
So I have to go over to my stamps and I have to pick one that I have not used yet. And I'm kind of excited about that. So it's our, our theme is uninked stamps because we all have them in some capacity or another. Some of us have more than others, but um, no judging. There's going to be no judging about that. <laughs> I could probably win. No, I do use almost all my stamps. And then before we turn the corner, I have a stamp set to give away. I did a drawing from last night and I know that this person was one of my commenters on YouTube. So whether you're watching live on Facebook right now, Facebook later after the live, or whether you watch when I upload this to YouTube, leave a comment and you'll get entered in a drawing. And the person who won this is one of my YouTube followers, Rhonda Chase. This is for you. So if you see this, can you please email me your um, address? It, it My email address is kelly at astampabove.com. Yay! I'm so excited. And yeah, I know Easter is over, but I had a couple of these sets left, and this makes for great little kid cards. Any kind. Thank you. Get well. I don't know if you'd send a thank you card to a little kid, but get well birthday, happy, you know, congratulations on the baby, all the all the good little kid things. So, and you can have it for Easter next year. So, yay. Um, how do I do all this? Do you stamp all day long or how do you decide and create so many fun things? <laughs> That's a good question, Vicki. So, I am usually in my office from about, well, it depends. I got to get a shower in too. So, Usually, I would say from 10, uh, pretty much steady all day long until about, you're gonna, you guys are going to die, till about 1 or 2 in the morning. That's how I do it. And I'm kind of a workaholic. I love this. I love being able to do this for my job. And some days, it just takes longer than others. So to um, operate at this capacity is a, is a lot of hours. And if you see anybody else operating at this capacity, they are also working these kind of hours. So don't kid yourself because they're working a lot too. We work really hard, but we love it. So it doesn't seem like a job, right? And then somebody asked if I could explain my um, online technique club. And I certainly can. Let me grab one of my, let's see if I have Oh, I think, oh, I put them up here, so hang tight. Let's grab these. So my online technique club. There is a button in the right-hand column of my blog that explains all about it. And um, what you do there is you go on my blog, right-hand column, click on online technique club, you'll see all the details. So you have to put in a $25 order each month. When you do that, I will send you an instruction card for the technique that month and also a card using the technique. So for example, this month, and I know this is backwards, this month was embossed vellum because a lot of times I forget to use vellum and emboss it because it looks really cool. Now it doesn't look like much on here because it's on white cardstock, but when you look at when you look at it in here, look at embossed vellum. It is absolutely stunning and it's such a big wow. So after a while of being in my club, you're going to have a whole bunch of these instruction sheets so that you can continue to look back at them and go, oh yeah, I should do embossed vellum this for the card that I'm making, right? Here's another one. This was a watercolor technique. So you get a sample of the technique on the instruction card. There's also always, always a video associated with these. And I try to put, well, this one doesn't, but I try to put the date of the video on here so you can go back to my blog or YouTube channel and find it. Here's the card using that technique. So you get the instruction card with the technique and also a card. Here's another one. Oops, where'd my instruction sheet go? Here we go. This is a motion technique. There are certain stamps that you can do this technique with. This is one of them. This is retiring, by the way. I think, the let it ride, I think this is retiring. Here's the card that everybody got. So motion technique card using the motion techniques. So these are really cool. I love to go through these because, well, first of all, they're really pretty. <laughs> I love pretty things. Did you know that about me? Here's another one. This is called double time stamping. Okay. Double time stamping. That's also a technique. Then we have color block stamping technique. This is really cool. So that's what my technique club is about. Oh, now I got to show you the chalkboard. This is really cool. And all of these videos are on my blog or my YouTube channel or my Pinterest or wherever you want to go 
find them. They're all, they're all out there. It's just that the people that are in my technique club get the instruction card and a card made with the technique. And um, all they have to do for it is place a $25 order. Now, at the end of six consecutive months of doing that, oh, I got to show you this one too. <laughs> um, oh, I don't have the card for this one, you guys. Dang it. Oh, yeah, I do. Hang on. Here we go. Whitewash. This is a whitewash technique. And here's the amazingly beautiful card that I made. But anyways, at the end of six consecutive months, you get a $30 credit of anything you want. So you can order anything you want and you get $30 off of that. So it's a pretty cool deal. But you have to be consecutive with your orders, number one. You have to keep track of what you're ordering and... Um, then you fill in the sheet as you go month by month, and when you fill it up for six months, then you can send it to me and you get a $30 product credit. So that's how it works. What else can I tell you about it? You can't double dip. And what I mean by that is, if you're in my online technique club, you need to place a minimum $25 order each month. You cannot order one of my online classes that has products in it or the product bundle. Like right now, the um, country club class, for $92, you can get all the products to go with this, plus the online class for free, plus the pre-cut cardstock pack for free if you order before the 9th of May, okay? You're already getting the free stuff for ordering the product from me. You don't, again, get more free stuff because you put this order in does not qualify you for $25. Does that make sense? Because that's double dipping. You know what I mean, right? And I just want to make sure that I'm always on the up and up with you and explaining things to the best of my ability so there's no confusion there. If you want to do my country club, you're going to get an invoice for $92 that you have to pay. If you want to be in my whoops, technique class or club, you need to place another $25 order. I think that makes sense. Doesn't that make sense? So that's about it. That's what it's all about. And I put them in our clear wood size cases and hang on to them. These are years worth of um, technique club stuff. And people say, well, do you repeat? I haven't yet. I haven't repeated techniques. If I did, the only one that I might have repeated is like um, a masking technique because there's so many different ways to mask. <laughs> Hi, Haley. You just woke up from a nap. I'm happy to see you here. So um, I haven't repeated my techniques, so it's pretty cool. And I've had people in my technique clubs for years. So they've got a ton of these, right? You can take the card that I send you and use it, or you can put it in there with your instruction card, but it's pretty cool. Some people punch a hole in the, all those instruction cards and put them on a big three ring thing, so they have like a booklet. It's a neat thing. So thank you for asking about that. I'm glad you did. All right. Does paper pumpkin count towards technique club? Um, no, actually it doesn't because I only get a certain percentage of paper pumpkin. And um, if you if you order uh, a prepaid subscription, you could do that and whatever that costs would go towards your $25. If you're a monthly subscriber, that's a whole different ball game and I'm it no because it's too hard to keep track of. But um, yeah, Paper Pumpkin is pretty cool. And did you guys hear our May kits sold out already? Like people are loving these Paper Pumpkin kits, especially after last month's, right? Oh my Lord. And the kit for May has already um, sold out. Yeah, so if you wanna get in on that Paper Pumpkin, order it now. Don't forget, if you order the prepaid subscription where you pay for one month, three months, six months, 12 months, Stampin' Up! will email you and say, thanks for ordering Paper Pumpkin. Here's your activation code. You need to click on this link and go activate your subscription or it'll never start. So I just want you to know that. Um, I've had a lot of people lately that have said, I didn't get my Paper Pumpkin. And I'm like, did you activate it? And they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. And this is what I'm talking about. You have to activate it. You have to watch for that email. So anyways, if you guys missed it yesterday, this was a card designed by Haley using the Country Club. Beautiful, beautiful suite of products. Perfect for man cards or ladies, lady golfers, right? Okay. Are we ready? I think we're ready. People are excited for the new in colors. Yeah, that's what the May kit is all about. It's going to have new in colors in it. So um, we're all excited to see those. 
as usual. Cindy says she keeps the cards and the technique in a clear envelope and keep them in a recipe file. That's a really good idea. Cindy is in my online technique club. So if anybody needs more information on that, you can email me at kelly at stampabove.com. Go to my blog, www.astampabove.com. And um, in the right-hand column, you'll see Online Technique Club. Click on that and you'll find all the stuff. You can print out the um, form that you keep track of your orders on. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yes, May is already sold out for Paper Pumpkin. So get it ordered right now so then you don't have to worry about it because you have to order it by the 10th of each month and this one just sold out really quick. But then you'll for sure get the next one in June. Okay. I think we're ready. Are we ready? Don't forget to share my video. Give me a thumbs up. That's really helpful. Oh, I know. I wanted to ask you guys a question. I have to have some techie people out there. So Steve became a tech genius overnight. And he paired his new Galaxy phone with the new stereo that he bought last month. And so now he can sit at his workspace and go like this with his phone. He's streaming music from his phone to his stereo. So he can stream the music to his stereo. He can sit there and turn it up and turn it down and change songs and the whole deal. Like he thinks he is just a complete big shot. He's very impressed with himself. He can also sit out here by the pool and, and control the stereo, which is pretty cool. And we have wireless speakers and all those kind of things. Question for you. If he is streaming music from his phone to the um, stereo, is he eating up our internet? Like, is he messing with the streaming for my Facebook Live? Because I've noticed last night my streaming quality wasn't very good. It looks good to me now here. Which means the replay when I upload it or you guys come to watch it after I'm live is going to be good quality. But I think that if he's streaming music from his phone to his stereo, that he's eating up some of our internet. Sarah says, yes. Are you saying yes to me? I think you are. Okay. That's what I told him. So I told him yesterday that he would not be able to stream music from his phone to his stereo while I was live. And he was like, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> it's like, settle down, cowboy. You'll be fine. <laughs> so, okay, good. That's what I wanted to know. And that's what I was thinking too, that he's eating up some of my internet and that's why my quality is not good. And we can't have that because we need to keep our priorities straight. <laughs> this would be a priority. Not him being a big shot with his phone and his stereo and doing all the things, right? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to flip you guys. Are you ready? I know everybody's saying yes and I've said it five times and I still haven't flipped. Yeah, I'm in a central I'm in the central time zone. So I'm Chicago time here in Wisconsin. Just so you know. Okay. I, I see all the laughs coming up, all the laughy faces right now, you guys. I know. He's pretty funny. He's a pretty funny guy. Yeah. Okay. We'll flip this around and close your eyes if you get motion sick. Gonna get you flipped over. I'm glad I, you didn't see the mess that's over there, because it's getting pretty bad. All kinds of crazy going on over there. Let me get my lights positioned properly here. Okay, I think we're straight. I think you can open your eyes. We're ready to stamp. So, the card that I'm going to be making tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because I know there are some men that watch me and I do not want to exclude you. We are not sexist here. Well, sometimes we are, but... <laughs> I think we all are a little bit, aren't we? <laughs> I don't know if you can watch me if you're not just a little bit. Because, <laughs> you know, girl power and all that. Okay, so I've got all my um, layers coming in here. Here's what we're going to be working with tonight. Oh. Let me get my cord out of here. Sorry, you're going to jiggle just a touch. Oh, and I have to get this box out of the way so I can see what your comments are. Okay, um, da, 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 da. it sounds like an upgrade may be in order. Oh, Judith said she's not a techie, but it sounds like an upgrade may be in order. 
See, I don't think so, Judith, because my internet is pretty jacked. Like, I already have had upgrades. I pay pretty good for the internet to be super, super powerful here, or whatever the words are. See, I'm not, I'm techie, but I, I don't understand all of it. Anyways, but thank you. Four and a quarter by 11. We have scored at five and a half here. And before we burnish, we're going to do something fancy. Marilyn, is this looking familiar to you? <laughs> oh my goodness. So, where's my cheat sheet? Right here. We are going to take... I'm going to take and measure in one and three quarters inches. So let me think about this for just a bit. I'm going to go in one and three quarters inches. So one and three quarters. I'm going to bring my cutting blade up here and we're going to cut to our five and a half inch score line. I think I did really good. <gasps> Perfect. Do you guys ever do stuff like this and then go too far? Yeah, that's what usually happens to me. And now we're going to bring this in here and we are going to cut that little bugger right out of there. Okay. And this is what we're left with. Pretty easy, right? This card is so spectacular. When I opened it today, and then I'll show you the gift that came with it. When I opened it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So I'm really excited to show it to you. So we're going to now, we're going to do that. And now see, I see that um, I did it a little too far. So now it looks kind of jacked up right here. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to trim that a little bit. And now I'm so, see, I messed something up. I didn't really mess this up, but kind of. And now I'm having a little hot flash. <laughs> I swear to God, it's tied to something, right? I'm just going to cut this a little bit. This is really very dangerous because, you know, if you get it really crooked, it's not going to be pretty. There we go. Oh, look at that. That looks just superb. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Now, we are going to take a piece of white. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. And let me get out. I got to move some stuff around here. I have my rectangle stitch framelits here. And by the way, this is all Marilyn's card. She sent it to me today. I'm just showing you how to make it. Um, rectangle stitch framelits. I used the biggest rectangle out of here and I die cut it on this large piece of whisper white. And here it comes. So we've got those stitched edges around there. And I just thought that was so pretty. Like, you wouldn't think it'd make that big of a difference, but it added so much to this card that it is totally worth it to do this die cutting. I'm telling you. All right, so once we have that done, let me take my coat off. I'm sweating. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my shirt. It says I'm a nap queen, and I think I might have to get rid of it because I didn't even take a nap today. <laughs> I don't get a lot of naps, but I do love them. All right, now we've got scraps. So... This is Poppy Parade. We are going to die to take and die cut, whoops, hang on, an oval out of a Whisper White scrap. And I think that's about all we need for that. So once we get all that done, here we go. Okay. And these are from the Layering Circle Dies. No, <laughs> Layering Oval Dies. Get it right, Kelly. So I'm going to put those away so I don't lose them. And I, I have people ask me, well, what size oval do you use? You use whatever's going to fit nicely around whatever sentiment you make with your card okay so that me telling you what size this is doesn't really do any good you're just going to stamp your sentiment usually you stamp it first and then die cut and um, you're just gonna fit whatever fits best on there okay next we have oh I've got a whisper white envelope here we're gonna decorate that I've got a panel of Whisper White, and all of these dimensions will be on my blog and um, above the Facebook video when we're done. I'll put them in there. Whisper White, this is two and an eighth by four and seven eighths. Then we have a piece of Flirty Flamingo. This is two and a quarter by five. And a piece of Poppy Parade that is two and three eighths by five and an eighth. So it's just one eighth increments. And we can take this one right now and glue it right on here. And so this is crazy because when I first saw Marilyn's card today, I was like, did she seriously put Poppy Parade and Flirty Flamingo together? I would have never. But this card is so stunning, you guys. And this is where you learn these crazy things about, you know, 
putting colors together that you would have never, ever, ever done. Now we're going to take this and put it right here. And you know that I love to layer cardstock. I think that you can have just a really simple card, but if you have a few layers of cardstock, it just makes it so spectacular. And I see that I cut this wrong. Yours will be better. Um, yeah, I cut this too short. Oh, I don't like that. You guys wait. I'm not going to wrap this card because it's so pretty. I think I started at five and a quarter instead of where I should have. Hang on. We'll get some more cardstock out here and go to town. So, this Poppy Parade should be two and a quarter by, uh, oh, it's two and three eighths. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Did we have this happen last night? I am losing my mojo here. Let's try it again. Poppy Parade, two and three eighths, one, two. I know some people, when I cut that paper wrong the other night, they were like, no, you didn't turn it, you gotta turn it, or you didn't turn it. And I'm like, oh, I wish you could yell through at me. And five and an eighth. Is that where I made the mistake? Yes, because that is five and a half. Let me think about this a little bit. Yep, it needs to be five and three eighths, you guys. I messed up when I wrote it. So I'll write these all down for you, don't worry. And then, let's get that out of there. So that was five and three eighths. And then we need a piece of 30 Flamingo. And this is going to be, um, that was two and three eighths. Now we're gonna go to two and a quarter. Did I have that one right? Yeah, two and a quarter, but the five is wrong. Five five and a quarter. See, look how wrong I was there. Holy cow. And I even had her card to measure it and I still jacked it up. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so that's right. Now is our white layer going to be okay? I think it's going to be too short. Yep, I'm right. And here comes. So that was five and three eighths, five and a quarter. This one's going to be five and an eighth. Gosh, you know, math is hard, and I'm way too pretty for math. <laughs> so my friend Dina's assistant says all the time, she's just way too pretty for math, right? Okay, there we go. Whew, golly, some days you got to work hard for it, right? Work it, girl. Okay, oops, hang on, my present's falling off. All right, <laughs> Terry said she was yelling, but I moved so fast. I know, I got to keep things rolling here. Like, you guys are, like, getting bored with this because I'm messing it up. Okay, I'll get this out of here. Here we go. So, we've got these two layers and our little oval here. Now, I am going to bring in Call Me Clover, Poppy Parade, Flirty Flamingo, Abstract Impressions. Who loves this stamp set? Who has this stamp set? If you have it, you love it. This is like an amazing stamp set. It does not look like much, right? But there are so many great ideas online with this stamp set. It is just one of my favorite, and guess what? It's retiring. Yeah, it's retiring, and I'm so sad about that. Now, before I go any further, I want to show you. It also has a set of dies that coordinate with it. Now, nothing in the dies cuts out anything here, but it, they, they just look really pretty together. And back when it was in a mini catalog, it was sold as a bundle. It's, it's separate now, but the dies are also retiring. And I made sure I had, hang on, look at how pretty this is. That's this die, right? Let's move that aside. Here's this die, giant butterfly, and then there's three dies in here, the two big ones, and then, whoops, I got glue on my fingers apparently, this flower. So you get this, this, and this flower, and it does go beautifully with the abstract impressions. You can buy them separately, you can, maybe you just like this, and uh, whatever. But I highly recommend you get these because... They're easy to create cards with, and when I find something that's easy, that's a big bonus to me. Like, I could design with these 
over and over and over again and still come up with fantastic ideas and not struggle at all. You know how sometimes you open up a stamp set and it's kind of tricky? These, not tricky at all. They're just stunning and gorgeous and I'm gonna miss them a lot. So let's get back to our stamping. I'll stop whining now. <laughs> no more whining. Flirty Flamingo Ink. I also love this set a lot because it is photopolymer, which is clear, which makes it easy to stamp with. And I'm going to ink this up. This sentiment, did I get louder? Yeah, because I'm standing up. I'm lazy. I have to sit down when I stamp. This sentiment says there's so much to love about you. And, you know, if I'm going to send a card to anybody, I could use this sentiment. Because if I'm sending you a card, obviously you're high on my list. There's some amount of love there. Maybe it's differing amounts of love. <laughs> Like, I might just kind of love you, and then I might love you, but you know what I'm saying, right? I could send this to anybody. Now, as long as we're here, where did my, I'm getting out the pearls. I loved how Marilyn put the pearls on this card. And you know what? I keep saying Marilyn. It's not Marilyn. It's Sharon. Oh my gosh. Now I'm totally embarrassed. Well, we got something from Marilyn today too, so that's why I got confused. This is Sharon. Kersey's card. Sharon, if you're watching, are you going, I'm not Marilyn, I'm Sharon. I am so sorry. This is Sharon Kersey's card. Holy cow. I would have gotten it eventually. Oh, I messed, I messed up there. Hang on. <laughs> if I could just grab this. There we go. So I'm, I'm going to do it just like Sharon did, not Marilyn. Marilyn made beautiful things too. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> And we're going to put some pearls right there. So just three little pearls in a row like that. And we're going to add this to our Poppy Parade scalloped oval. Here we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And then we'll get these out of the way. Now I'm going to bring these in. We can glue the Flirty Flamingo to the Poppy Parade. Okay, and then now, oh, then we can put it on here. I got the glue all over this, but never finished it, did I? Because I messed up on my cutting. Duh. I'm going to make sure I get this on here straight. Look how pretty that is, right? Now wait till we put the white in there, because that makes it stunning. All right, so now we're going to start doing a little stamping here. I've got Poppy Parade ink, still my flirty flamingo, and then retiring Call Me Clover, which is a really pretty green. So my darker, now this is a two-step, three-step stamping process. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do with this, but I'm going to use the two, uh, I think. Yeah, I'm going to use the two because that's what Sharon did. And this is the big background one, so it's more solid. So we're going to take that in the lighter color, which is our um, Flirty Flamingo, and we're going to stamp that right here. Isn't that pretty? It's very, like, well, I was going to say abstracty. Thus the name, Abstract Impressions. Here comes the other one. Let me see. I'm going to kind of look at this a little bit. This doesn't line up perfectly, but it looks pretty cool, right? And then my leaves. I've got these leaves here. There's several different kinds of leaves in here. I'm going to do these right here. Cool, right? Okay. Then... If you want to, oh, look at I just got some ink on there. Why does that happen? Hang on. Baby wipes. Got to clean my fingers off. Darn it. See, look at it. It was right there. Brr. Don't you just want to, like, spit when that happens? There's no spitting and stamping. Okay, I'm going to turn it over because we can. And I'll show you how to do this one more time. Make it look like it was intended. Here goes. So far, so good. Here comes, oops. <laughs> you guys see what I did, right? I'm gonna go with it, cause it looks kinda cool. This fell over on there. Yeah, it's okay. We'll be okay. Here comes our leaves. So far, so good. I'm going to glue this right inside my card because once you start adding these 
white layers is when everything really pops for this card. I think that's what was so stunning about it. So here we go. Okay. Woo! Look at how pretty that is. All right. Next, we're going to take this panel and we're just going to do a whole bunch of flowers all over it. Now, um, Sharon did hers a little bit different because she added some elements. We may do that too, or we may not. So then I can show you both, but hers is super, super pretty. And we're just gonna go along here and stamp all these up. Oh, and before I forget you guys, you may notice that I have a different host code here. I have changed it on my blog today. I'm getting ready to start ordering some of my kit stuff, so that's why I change the host code. And now we're gonna come in and stamp over these flowers. And if you want to, you could stand up and really line these up all perfectly, but I don't really think you have to. But if you, if that's what you like to do, then you do that. Um, I just think these flowers are just crazy cool. I love them. Okay, I'm gonna move that out of the way. Make sure my hands are still clean. Oh my Lord, right? Then we got our green. And I'm just going to come in here and do some leaves. So I'm filling in some of this white space with some green leaves. I'll do one down here. Maybe one right here. Let's see what else do I have going on here. Um, and I think the other thing I'd like to do, what color is this? This is Poppy Parade. I'm going to set this right up here and I'm going to do a little flicking. You guys see me do this before? I love flicking. I think it's really cool. You just take the lid off of your brush tip and you flick it at your cardstock. Well, this one doesn't look like it's even flicking. Is this dried up? No. Hmm. What's happening? I don't know. Hang on. Uh, is this another black? I got lots of black ones. You can order these individually. There we go. Now we're getting some black out there. I'm going to do some black. That one. I don't know what's wrong with that one. Let's throw that over there. Okay. And then the other thing I'm going to do is just come right in here and put some black centers the middle of these flowers because that's what Sharon did and I thought it was really cool it took me a little while to figure it out Sharon but I got I caught on sometimes I can be a little slow there we go and then she took her pen and she went around oops I'm gonna do let's see I think let's see how the end of this one oh yeah this is nice and pointy I'm gonna do one two three one, two, three. I bet you I have an easier way to do this. Now, if you own a um, stylus, and there's one that comes with your Simply Scored, um, you know, the little thing with the round ball on it that you score with, mine is way over there, or I grab it, but I'm not gonna run away. Let's see what this looks like. So, one, nope, that's not big enough, forget it. But you could do it with your stylus, I think it would work. So I'm just going to keep doing, no, this is, oh, that's the old marker. This is the new one. It's very pretty. I'm just going to do three little dots and it's going to be crazy kind of how much this adds to the card. And you can make them as big as you want or as little, completely up to you. It's your card, right? Do what you want. Look at how that just adds a lot to that, doesn't it? All right, oh, and then she did this. She did dot, 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 dot. Super cute. Okay, we're ready. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on the front here. Black everywhere. Okay, I think.
think I'm okay. It's not going to come off. Here, let me wipe it on my pants. <laughs> you know I do that a lot. Okay, there we go. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, here comes this. We're going to take and put some glue on only one side. Just like this. And we're going to put this right in the middle. Look at how pretty this card is. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, right? It's so gorgeous. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. So let me show you. Oh, look at my center of my flower isn't even there. Let me show you, Sharon. She did a better job. <gasps> look at how pretty that is. Now, she stamped some little hearts around in here, too, which I thought was super cute. And she used the bigger leaf, which I have here. But I didn't use that one. Let me see if I can stamp it off once and maybe come in and do that. Oh, I like that. I just was afraid that it was going to cover up. That adds a little bit more green in there, which I think is not a bad idea at all. <gasps> Pretty! What do you guys, I just think that's so cool. So here is Sharon's card. Oh, I always forget the wink of Stella, and I have it out here. She also took and added a little bit of wink to the centers of her flowers. And you can't see it, I know you can't see it in the video, but when you look at it, on there. You know, it's all those things that I catch. Like I usually see all those little details. How pretty is that, right? So this was the card that came. Oh, and she said, if flowers were hugs, I'd send you a thousand. That is also um, in the stamp set. So we've got, there's so much to love about you. Kindness changes everything. So happy about your happy news. Thank you. And if flowers were hugs, I'd send you a thousand. There's also a little butterfly in here. That's a little butterfly, little butterfly body. There's grass petals. Those are really cool. Some smaller flowers. These flowers are really fun. You stamp these and then you stamp these over them in a darker color. Amazing. This is a little piece of ground right here. There are 21 different stamps in here. And of course, they're all photopolymer. Oh, there was my butterfly I was looking for. That's funny because I die cut another butterfly because I'm like, why don't I have a butterfly in here? Yeah, very, very cool. Okay, so this is Sharon's card. Let me get this junk out of the way so I can show you her gift because I squealed when I opened it. Squealed. Oops. Here we go. Oh, and before I forget, you guys, I want to tell you, I'll get these dimensions typed up, the correct ones, not the ones that I gave you that I screwed up. But um, I'll get those typed up and put them on top of the video right away. I don't think I'm going to get this video anyplace else. Like, it's not going to be on my blog with photos and everything because I have got too much stuff to do tonight that is due. This is my present. Are you ready? Look at this. Is that not to die for? These are kitchen towels. Look at how pretty that is. And then this. You are my favorite. Oh my gosh. And her note said, Kelly, saw this Target towel. Enter abstract impressions. Just wanted to send a special thank you to you. I jumped back into Stampin' Up! a year ago. It was because I found you on YouTube. I was hooked. You are crazy, fun, and talented. Love ya, Sharon. And Sharon joined my team. Here's those other flowers, you guys. These little flowers right here, and then see how she's got the dark ones on here? That's this stamp right here. But look at how precious this is. Like, I just literally squealed. I'm like, I love this. This is so absolutely adorable. And you are so thoughtful to do that. You know, I love thoughtful people. Um, it's those people that really bring a lot of brightness to your life. I'm not. Look at that. That's gross. I am, I just never think of things like this to do. Like, I want to do things like this, but I'm not that person that thinks to do stuff like this. So, before I go any further, I have one more thing to do, too. Because I got out an envelope, and then I didn't do anything with it. So, let's do that. But anyways, those kind of people just warm my heart. And I, and I have several people. Terry, Terry is on here. She does stuff like that all the time. It's just like the most thoughtful thing. I just, that's not... I'm not thoughtful like that. And then it sounds really crappy because it's like, well, I am a nice person. But yeah, you know, everybody has their niche that they're good at. And 
I can tell that Sharon is really good at that, at putting things like that together and making the most thoughtful gifts ever. I'm going to move these cards so they don't fall into my, um, what I'm going to do here. I'm going to stamp the envelope flap because I just thought that would be stunning with this card to have this all over the place on here matching that card. I just thought that would be so pretty. Now again, I could line this up, but I'm just not taking the time to do it. But it's still looking pretty good, right? Yeah, that's the beauty of the stamp set. I don't know that there's really bad things that you could do with it. Here we go. Abstract Impressions, one of my all-time faves. I'm really going to miss it, but um, I know that everybody who has it in their library is going to really be glad that they did. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. There we go, you guys. Gorgeous, right? I'm going to try to keep my messy. Look at how dirty I get. I'm so dirty. Dirty girl. <laughs> this is a family show. Okay. There we go. Sharon, thank you so much for this gift because as soon as I opened it, I'm like, this is what we're making tonight. And I just opened it at like 3 o'clock this afternoon. And I absolutely adore these kitchen towels. And I am not going to let Steve touch them. You know what he does with my kitchen towels? <laughs> he washes his hands after he eats. And then he takes some water and throws it on his face and uses my towels to wipe his face off barbecue sauce and all yeah so I can't have pretty things that he can use so I will keep these for myself and I will use them believe me I'm all about using things I don't like you know I don't have oh that's for the when the good company well maybe I'll keep these for the good company we don't usually have good company <laughs> maybe I'll keep them but he's not using them I promise you all right I am going to flip you guys around now so that I can see what's happening and uh Hang tight. Here we go. Here we go. Now I can see you. What did you think, you guys? Isn't it so pretty? Like, I was just giddy. I was like, oh my lord. So, so, so pretty. These are the things that make me happy. <laughs> I know, Cindy, right? Bad husband. Yeah, he, I told him, I said, you know, every time he does something like He'll come in the house with mud all over his shoes. And I'll say, you know, you're the reason we can't have nice things. <laughs> and then we laugh because what are you going to do? We have to live in our house, right? I'm not, I'm not that weird about stuff. But it's like, seriously, you're why we can't have nice things. He's why I can't have white towels. He's why. But I'm going to use these. <clears throat> um, Cindy says she has bathroom towels that she keeps for holidays. And the good company. I know what you're saying. I do. I know what you're saying. Oh, thank you so much. Who just said that? Lola, thank you so much. You're so sweet. I really appreciate it. And it is a beautiful card. And we have Sharon to thank for this beauty because, like, it knocked my socks off. So, Sharon, thank you. Thank you for the beautiful towels. Cindy, thanks for the cards. Oh, you know what? I think I didn't show you a card. Did I show you two baby cards today? Oh, hang on. I must have. I showed you Cindy's card. And then there was another one, too. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I don't think I did. I think I skipped right over this one. I showed you this one the other day, but I promised that I would show it again. And this is from Luba. The baby card. Did I show you guys this one? I thought I did. Yeah. Who's tearing off another ring on my chain? Oh, no, not yet. I looked this morning. I've got a little ways to go before I can tear off another ring on my chain. Look at the, remember the envelope? This I thought was just stunning. That's the inside of the envelope. This is the outside. This is a beautiful card from Luba for the baby. And it says, congratulations, Haley and Jared, on your First bundle of joy. Best wishes for the entire family. Enjoy. Love, Luba. Rochester, New York. Gorgeous. And I remember going, oh my Lord, look at that envelope. Yep. It makes a difference. <laughs> so I'll be sure to give this to Haley and Jared. I'll be sure to get my prizes out. 
Um, Rhonda Chase, big winner of the Welcome Easter stamp set. Did I miss any questions, you guys? Is there anything else that I can do for you today? I had a really good time tonight. I'm glad you guys came on to play with me. <laughs> I know, I feel like you're my, you're my play friends. Is that weird? Yeah. Husbands that watch with your wives at home, I know you're rolling your eyes right now, and I don't care. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, okay, so I am going to type up the um, dimensions, get these loaded above the video, and tomorrow, Split Coast Stampers, I will post it on my blog so that you can see the tutorial and I'm using I'm doing fun folds with the country club so don't forget I have an online class using country club and yeah Judith said oh my gosh what an envelope stunning I know right it's gorgeous and Rochester New York is a great place that's what Linda says I don't know if I've ever been there I've been to New York City my husband says he doesn't ever want to go there he's kind of angry about the virusy thing and look at my hair Woo, I got something going on back there, don't I? Yeah, I didn't take a shower today, but I look pretty good, huh? <laughs> I know. I ran a straightener through my hair and called it a day. And if you guys really want to know all the truth about me, here's my Nap Queen shirt. These are actually my pajamas. So, I didn't even put on my daytime pajamas. <laughs> we don't care, do we? Nope. I did put on a bra today, though, so you're welcome. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. I got lots and lots of stuff that I need to do. I am hoping that I will be live again tomorrow. Um, but I'm kind of under the gun right now for several deadlines that I'm running a little bit behind on. So I'm going to do my best so that we can play again tomorrow. And just watch my Facebook page. You'll see me when I'm going to go live. And we will have a blast. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Thank you so much. Don't forget to click that share button, whether you're on YouTube later Facebook now, Facebook later. Click the share button. If you're on YouTube, click that bell for notifications. That way you'll get notifications when I come on live. Don't forget to click on subscribe if you're on YouTube. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. Thank you so much. And Barbara, Barbara just said, I am finally catching you live. Well, I hope you've been here for a while because we're done now. And if you just got on, go back and watch the replay. It's pretty fun. We had a good time tonight, didn't we, guys? <laughs> I think we had a great time. All right, have a good one. I will hopefully see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.